I think there was a lot of emotion at that new stadium for David Moyes. Is Lopetegui the man to take them to the next level? And what does this mean for David Moyes? Surely he isn't finished in football. He has done so well with West Ham United. He has changed the perception of the club. And I now wonder his next club. Would you take him at your club? It's weird, isn't it? Because the feeling around David Moyes, the sentiment towards him, it feels very hostile. But when you look at what he's done, he has done so well with West Ham United, winning their first piece of silverware since 1980. It's historic. He's changed the trajectory of that club. And yet, for some reason, he really is harshly treated. And I just don't quite understand it. Is he suffering from every single club in the Premier League these days wanting to play this weird progressive style of football as if there's only one way to play if you don't play an expansive progressive ball retaining sort of way you aren't necessarily seen as being a decent team I don't understand it I think that there are many ways to play football and I don't think that you need a clear identity to be a top manager it isn't essential that you have a philosophy look at what Carlo Ancelotti has done in his career I think you could easily argue that Carlo Ancelotti is the best manager to have ever lived a man that has won a serial serial Champions League winner and has won five European leagues. He has won the five main European leagues and his contribution as a player. And yet he doesn't really have a managerial philosophy. And yet for some reason in this country, I think, we sneer at managers who are pragmatic. We sneer at managers who don't have a philosophy and we praise managers who do. Unfairly in, in some occasion, I would say that maybe Deserby is an example of this. Deserby gets so much more praise than David Moyes. But I ask, is it fair? Is it justified? So I wonder what is going to happen to David Moyes. Please get in touch if you're a West Ham fan. I've spoken to my mate who is a West Ham fan who was over there today. He told me that Moyes got a brilliant reception and it will be lauded and is etched into West Ham folklore forever. So if you were a West Ham fan in the ground today, please give me a bell. But... Before we go any further, we need to get back to the calls. Sam, you're a Chelsea fan. How are you? You all right, lads? Can you hear me okay? Yes, mate. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, no, I'm just coming on my way back from the Forest Chelsea game now. And first of all, I just want to apologise. I was on a few weeks ago and I was calling for Poch to be out there and then after the Arsenal game. Um and to be honest, he, do, he does need time. It'll be really interesting to see what he does over the summer. Um, who stays, who goes. But today, he got it right with the tactics and the substitutions for once. Um, you know, I, I went with my partner today. She rarely comes to away games. And when we went 2-1 down, she looked at me and she was like, you know, it's going to change. It's going to change. I was like, no, rubbish. And look what happened. I said to her afterwards, she should have put a bet on it, but... You know, she doesn't. But no, I just wanted to know what your thoughts were on, you know, is this, is Poch safe now? Well, this, really? is, this is the thing, Sam. You know, when I was listening to you say there that you, you now concede that you were wrong after that, that Arsenal game. That Arsenal game yeah. was, I believe, the worst performance that we've ever put in in the Premier League. I think it's the worst result that we've ever had in the Premier League. Yeah. It was that bad. It was that embarrassing. And it was actually unforgivable. He should have been sacked at half-time. That night, in my yeah. opinion, it was it was horrific what happened at Arsenal, yeah. and I think a lot of it was because of the manager. So since then, there's only been four games, and yet we look they've been they've been four very successful games. I think when we win London derbies, particularly when one of those London derbies is beating Tottenham, it's always going to make everyone feel a little bit better. You know, we did the double over Tottenham, yeah. and therefore people feel good. Scoring five goals against West Ham, it always feels good, and obviously. Being away at Forest, you are going to feel the euphoria. Being in an away end and winning 3-2, you know, turning the game on its head after going 2-1 down, it's always going to feel good. But if we just take a step back, you look at this season, you look at various examples this season, it wasn't that long ago that we were drawing 2 all at home with Burnley. It wasn't that long ago that we were drawing 2 all at home with Sheffield United. It wasn't that long ago that we were losing at home to Aston Villa, losing at home to Brentford, losing at home yeah. to Nottingham Forest. Are you being very generous and basically basing this off the back of four decent out, results? Man. Are you being generous, is my question, Sam. Are you being a bit generous? Uh, the thing is, it's, it's such a divided opinion within within the club, like fan base at the moment. Some people are saying, you know, give him ten. And some some are still saying that he, you know he's getting it wrong. I mean, we're a very frustrating side to watch away from home at the moment. Um, you know, the build-up play is still really poor. There's no movement on. There's no movement off the ball. You know, I, and to be honest, I think even against West Ham, you know, 
a lot of a, a lot of our goals that day were were lucky. You know, Sam, what did you Sam, what did you think of Mauricio Pochettino's comments yesterday? Did you hear them where he intimated that it's also up to him whether he leaves or not? No, I, d- I didn't hear that, to be honest. Right. But, you know, it, at the end of the day, if, who, are we, who are we to decide whether he wants to stay or go? At the end of the day, all we can do is respond to him when he says, you know, he wants us to get behind the players and, you know, believe in the project, and, and this, which we've all done. Mm. Um, you know, we've all done it, you know, and at the end of the day, you need to reward us with a performance. And, you know, since that Arsenal game where we were all calling for his head, We've done, in my opinion, we've done it. We nearly slipped up today, but we've we've done it. Yeah. And I think, I I think I'm starting to fall within the he deserves ten games next season to see where we are really. On AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker, Talksport.